Thinking about leaving your soul sucking nine to five job, one of the biggest struggles I see people, especially as women, face is the idea of having that safety nest, that enticing perks and benefits, and listening to that head trash of what will people think if I leave. I totally get it and I've been where you are. That's why I created a free guide to help you if you're thinking about putting in that notice. It's called Unlocking Your Exit Plan. Discover five things you need to do before leaving your nine to five. This guide is filled with worksheets and steps so you will have handholding along the way you can download your copy in the link in the show notes and again it's totally free now back to today's episode if you haven't heard about anchor it's the easiest way to make a podcast let me explain it's free there's creation tools that allow you to record and edit your podcast right from your phone or computer anchor will distribute your podcast for you so you can be heard on spotify Apple Podcasts, and many more. You can make money from your podcast with no minimum listenership. So cool, right? It's everything you need to make a podcast in one place. Download the free Anchor app or go to anchor.fm to get started. You're listening to the Hello C.S. Dorsey Podcast, episode number three. In this episode, I'm going to give you tips on how you can overcome those blank pages that stare right back at you in the face and move the cursor along on your computer or notepad in order to get started. Let's dive in. Tired of staring at blank pages and don't know what to do? Or you complete your manuscript and now what? My name is C.S. Dorsey of HelloCSDorsey.com and I coach writers and authors with the writing and self-publishing process. I wrote my book in three months. Yes, three months. It took dedication, discipline, and time management. After three months of writing and three months of editing, I submitted my book to tons of literary agents who said no or just didn't say anything at all. So I went to my best friend Google. My goal is to help teach and motivate writers to take that leap to become a self-published author. It will be a dream come true. One of the most difficult things with writing is getting started writing. And sometimes it's not even a challenge. Sometimes we can make it a challenge. We can make it hard. The one thing that we definitely do need to have is the mindset to want to write. The idea is nice, it's fine, but having the mindset to want to write is a completely different thing. Yes, we say, oh, I want to write a book. I have this ideal in my head, but... Um, I just don't know where to get started. And then we go, we get on our computers or we get a notebook and then we're just staring at blank pages. Blank pages are very intimidating, I will tell you. It's being able to move that cursor and being able to write at least one word and then turn it into a sentence and then take that sentence and turn into a paragraph, and then that paragraph become multiple paragraphs for pages. I know it's difficult, I do. But the thing of it is, is having the mindset, number one, and not being so focused on having or knowing what to write. The difficult thing is actually just typing a sentence. And we think, overthink things a little bit too much. Like, okay, well, I'm going to write this sentence, but I have to make sure that there's capital letters. I have to make sure there's quotation marks. I have to make sure that there's a comma, a period, all of that stuff. When I say, don't worry about that. You don't worry about your commas, your period, your quotation marks, or it does it make sense just put it on paper you can edit as many times as you want to once you go back and once you've done and complete your masterpiece or for me if I write a chapter I'll write out the chapter and then I'll go back and I'll look at it 
But that didn't happen for me until I really started knowing what my book was going to be about. It was maybe like the fifth or the sixth chapter that I actually started going chapter by chapter and looking at it to make sure that everything is flowing properly. By the third or fourth chapter, I was just writing. I just kept writing whatever came to me. And I didn't think about what was next. I felt what was next. I made the character talk to me to tell me their story. I was like, I want to know what you're feeling. I want to know how you're feeling. I want to know, you know, tell me your story and I will listen. And my whole concept was to get myself out of the way and let my character tell the story. I didn't know exactly what my book was actually going to be about until the third chapter or the fourth chapter. Then I started writing my plot. I started plotting things down and say, okay, we're going to go in this direction with this book. Now, I did have uh, I did have people reading it and I did tell my mom about it. And I want to say people, I had one person helping me read it. Um, but uh, to kind of help me make sure everything was going into, it was coming into play as I, I mean, flowing as I was writing it. But the whole time I was just writing. I wrote whatever that character wanted me to tell them, wanted me to tell their story. That's what I meant to say. <laughs> I just kept writing. And when you get out of your mind, when you get out of your mindset and when you're in deep thought and when you are telling the character story, it's amazing because you're feeling that character. You feel in their bad days. You're feeling their good days. You feel in when they're upset. You feel in how they approach certain things. And that's when their personality develops. I did not write down how I wanted her personality to be in the book. I did not write down um, her favorite food. I didn't write anything of that down. I wrote it in the the paragraphs. I wrote it in the, the pages. And I had to go back and remind myself, okay, you know, she likes this food, you know. But I've already d- developed the character in my head. So... I was with her. We were one. I, you know, it was almost like I interviewed her myself without her even being physically present. So that's how connected I was with the character. And once you make that connection with the character, your flow, your writing is going to flow continuously. It's all about character connection. Now, if you're doing a nonfiction book, that's a completely different story. That's uh, something completely different. You're either telling your story or you are, um, you're helping someone with maybe um, but time management, goal setting or something like that. But you also have to make sure that you're connecting with your audience and which kind of will be similar in a way because your audience will be um, your ideal customer. That's for your ideal, what do I want to say? Your ideal, I don't want to say customer avatar. I would say your ideal audience, I would say, because you're writing for that particular audience that's looking for those particular things. So you kind of like have to have that mindset and have a mindset shift and say, okay, well, um, I think my ideal audience or a person reading this book is having this going on with them and they want to fix this. So that part takes a lot of research. And, you know, it took, don't get me wrong, it took research for mine. I, I definitely had to do research for my book. But my book was a character connection and I shared her pain. I felt her pain. And that's what I'm talking about. You know, we overthink things too much about what we want to write, what we want to say, how we want to say it, what it look like. Uh, What if somebody says this? What if somebody do this? Or what if I get a bad review? No, no. Half the time, the people don't even care. And they're not even, they, they don't care. I mean, people who spend their time Critiquing other people have nothing to do with their lives. And that's how I approach negative reviews or anything negative. 
I say, okay, you have nothing to do with your, you have nothing to do with your life. Okay. You spend all your negative energy on critiquing and, um, being negative about what I'm trying to do and what I'm trying to progress in my life. And yet, are you doing the same or do you want to do it? That's, that's how I think about it. A lot of people are bitter because what you're doing, they want to do. And they sad that they can't do it because they don't have a mindset like you and you're doing it. So it's like, oh, well, you know, it looked, it was, it was okay. It just, you know, didn't sit too well with me. I thought she could have done this, 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 and this. I didn't like this, this, and this, and everything is negative, negative, negative. It's nothing positive at all. Trust me, I've read reviews like that, especially for my own book. Kind of hurt me, but I was like, okay, well, you know, I have one review that said that the book is crap versus the 20 book the 20 reviews that I have that said that they love the book and gave me four or more stars so who am I going to gravitate towards definitely not the negative review I say that's your opinion you was having a day you know that's fine you know I don't I don't delete negative comments I leave it up there I, I will leave it up there but um I say all this to say it's time to start. Start writing a sentence. You can start off the sentence with, today I went for a walk. Okay, so you went for a walk. What did you do? You had to go outside the door or did you take a, a, did you take a break during your lunch hour or did you take a walk in the morning? And well, I took a walk in the morning. I went to go walk the dog. Okay, well, what's going on around you? And do you have your, what's it, what's it, the um, pedometer to count your steps? Yeah. Did you have that? What are you wearing? You know, what do your dog look like? Is it daytime outside or is the sun, is the sun setting or is the sun you're ready to rise? Those type of things will help your story. You just write. And before you know it, that one scene that you went outside, you walked the dog. It was in the morning time. I was wearing my yoga pants and all of a sudden I heard a sound and then that's when it starts flowing. That's when you can get things going. It's a good practice, especially if you don't know what you want to write. It's a good habit to get into those things. So start writing a journal and you can do a journal through a blog. You can do it through a Word document, Google documents. You could have like um, uh, just a regular notebook. I can't write in notebooks no more. For some reason, I have weird arthritis in my hands and I don't know what's going on. I guess maybe, you know, must have braided hair too much in my younger years or must have made too much jewelry. I don't know what's going on with my hands, but my hands hurt so much. Sometimes that when I write in a notebook, like handwrite, it will cramp up and I'm like, okay, time to switch to the computer. So yeah, aha, it's the computer that did it. That's the reason why I got so much carpal tunnel. <laughs> but just go to the computer and just start typing, just start typing how your day went, you know? And um, if you do have an idea of what you want to write, I would say turn it into a synopsis. And that's one thing that helps me out so much, especially if I have an idea of what I want to, to talk about or write about or a story to tell, turn it into a synopsis, a one page synopsis saying what's going on, kind of give uh, not too much detail, but you could actually have like the plot in it as well. And then um, don't say what the ending is going to be at all. Uh, but writing a synopsis first, or you can even write a book blurb about the book that haven't even been written yet. Those things, those suggestions and those exercises, they help so much. It will definitely get your juices flowing. It will definitely say, okay, well, this is what's going to go on in, in chapter one, chapter two, chapter three. And you know, I'm going to have it uh, formatted like this. And then you just start writing it. And then Boom, there you go. I know what you're saying. Well, see, yes, Darcy, it's 
so easy for you to say you've already written five books yeah I've written five books but I didn't always connect with the characters like I did my first one the second one was the second one was my trilogy the locust trilogy which was from a guy's point of view a boy point of view I don't know what it's like being a boy thank god (laughs) I don't know what it's like being a boy I seriously don't so what I had to do was I had to do a lot of observations I actually took that from um I took the personality from my uh, friend at the time her husband I took his personality because we always used to hang out together and I was like, I'm going to write a book about you guys. So I took both of their personalities for the boy and the girl and that's how I was able to kind of like develop my character and that's how, how I was able to connect with my character because I pretty much used, you know, their relationship and their personality and how they were. You can do that. It's fun. It's, it's really fun. Just change the names. That's all I say. And don't make it too much like them else. They'll probably try to sue you. So, and let them know, hey, you know, I have this guy that's, you know, that I'm writing about. And he actually kind of like have your personality a little bit. And they're like, oh, okay, you know, but just make sure you tell them, you know, change the name and everything. But, um, but yeah, it, I, I mean, it's one of them things that uh, you can, is definitely doable. Is definitely doable, especially for fiction, and you can do it for nonfiction as well. So uh, I'm really happy that you joined me on this episode today, and uh, remember, keep on writing. It will help. And if you need me to get you started, or if you need any help getting started, go ahead and download my free 20 prompts. Uh, freebie that I have is going to be linked in the show notes so go ahead and, and download that and just get started you can definitely email me for help at hello at cs dorsey's with an s at the end dot com or you can go to my website hello cs dot com I will include all those links in the show notes today take care